Hello everyone to the latest uh, Nitro F1 race. Um, this was at Silverstone and um, yeah, uh, I typically, uh, I wasn't really looking forward to this one because usually I struggle really, really bad here. Um, the track I can never really figure out most of the time. So, But we were going to try to do well today and stuff, but uh, it was a dry race, so nothing to worry about weather-wise. It was cloudy during qualifying, so that got people scared, but it was not. But, uh, here's my lap. This is actually my second lap. I did my first one on mediums, and it was okay. Um, it could have been better, but this was a pretty good lap on my softs. So, um, yeah. I mean, I was hoping maybe for, like, another tenth or two, but four tenths off Mahu there at this point was pretty good for me, so. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, it was literally one tenth off my best um, time trial lap, so it was pretty optimal to say the least. But uh, my who on pole, chaotic second, Kermit third. But um, just going for my uh, going to the start here. But just hoping for a good start because honestly, my last few restarts haven't been too great. But in my opinion, so I was hoping for a much better one. Um, we have five red lights and light. It's lights out and away we go, and we get a nice jump on Kermit, and that's actually going to quickly move up us, move us into third place, and that's a really good start for us. But Mahu actually lost the lead on the start, and Chaos was able to jump him. So, right at this point, we're in third, and it seems like there's not really any pressure for us to lose or gain anything at this point, because I don't really think I can keep up with Mahu and Chaotic. So, I was really happy with where we are, where I was at at this point. And I was 100% okay with it uh, going green from this point, but um, TikTok crashed and Joseph crashed in two different completely spot, spots of the track, and that will bring out the safety car. And um, a little thing I knew about it, and me and Gail were definitely talking about it. If there was an early safety car, we jump in for the pits and take hearts because we're going to just we're going to try to take these to the very end of the race, and they should be able to make it to the end of the race. So we come in, we come out in P9, 10, and also pucked it. Came out in P11 doing this strategy as well, but um, we were we felt like with how long the pit delta is here, it's almost 30 seconds that the hards wouldn't make it to the end, and we would be able to win the race. Or well, if we kept this position, but um, going around the corpse and then Libert loses it off the exit because he had side pod damage and it just went on him. He said, and then so um, yeah, that was. Right now, we definitely don't need a safety car or a VSC at this point because that is that would ruin everything. Um, so, and then lap five here, we're catching Grizz, and I want to make a move, but decide not. And then he loses it. I believe he also had like side pot or floor damage, so the car just went on him. So, move ourselves up to P seven at this point, and it was feeling pretty good. So, yeah, and then. Here we are moving up to lap eight, and then um, I was able to keep Gale and Puck behind me. And we go into this turn, and then I get hit from behind, and Gale hits me in the rear and oh. breaks his wing. And then for some reason, and then Puck does spins on his own for some reason. But I, I felt like I, I was probably breaking earlier than um, most people in that turn, but I was trying to make the exit straight as possible. I, I guess had a different approach, and I guess Gale didn't really know about it, and. And just ran into me, and I feel really bad about it. But it could, now it's complete disaster as there's a VSC on the track, and I am praying this VSC is quick and ends before they get to the pits because I know they're going to come in and not be as far as behind as I want them to be. And it, it doesn't work out, and they are able to, Mahu and Kax are able to pit, and I was pretty uh, pretty sad at this point. And uh, the VSC was ending, and I, so we were able to gain a little bit here, here. So able to go full throttle through this point, but still, that a lot of damage was done. What should have been almost twenty seconds is going to turn out to be. Um, we we're going to find out when Mahu gets out of the pits, but what was going to be close to twenty seconds is only just over eleven seconds. So the race isn't over yet, but. Um, just got to try hard to get around these guys and stuff. And 
Chad Fay also had massive floor damage at this point, so he was uh, on a struggle bus at this point. He was uh, he was really slow. I try to get around him fast as I can because like I can't waste time and um, so I go really wide in this turn and make a diamond so I get a nice exit off the, off the turn and it works out and I'm able to get side by side with him and he's still fighting me really hard at this point and I was scared of uh, being Lewis Hamilton here and taking to the to another planet so but he decides to let me go and um, we're in the P4 at this point. But Mahu, then we jump up lap 15, and Mahu's only four and a half seconds back, so. It was, I kind of knew at this point there was going to be not much I could do, <laughs> to say the least, so. Um, yeah, it was a little upsetting, so. Lap 16, LCS comes to pit, so we're coming to lap, actually lap 17, so. And we are going to take the lead in this race, and, um. Yeah, Mahu's only 1.9 seconds behind, so there's not much I can do. And it's frustrating knowing at this point it should have been near still over 10 seconds of that VS. He never comes out, so. But lap 18, he's a half a second behind coming down the uh, this straightaway. And uh, he's got DRS and stuff, so it's just like just watching the gap behind me and using gear, the little ERS I have left to keep him behind. <laughs> say the least but um we go through uh maggots and beckets so and uh, he isn't really falling behind through here so i look you can see the arrows there and i kind of know like I'm gonna, well i'm gonna use the ers i have left but he's just gonna you know go flying by so um not much i could do there so and at this point he's just gonna drive away and he's got the fresher mediums and i'm on hards that have been on some slap ones so um yeah, it's a little frustrating because you see at lap 22, it's five seconds, and I'm just thinking back now of this, that VSC, um, how much time I lost because of it, and even Ma, who said if, if that VSC doesn't come out, he doesn't think he can catch me. But it would have been close, I think, but it's a little upsetting because um, it, it feels like now, like, I've had a really bad safety car luck this season, I feel like, and it's just like, it cost me the win at Abu Dhabi. It cost me second at Saudi Arabia. And it possibly... I had a break at Baku, kind of. But, um, yeah, it was frustrating in this race, too. So, um, it would have been close if the VSC didn't come out. But second's still good. Um, obviously, we had a good race still. So, second's still good, and we'll take it. And we actually move up to fourth in the points instead of fifth. And then I don't know what this was by my AI. So uh, my AI was just decided I wanted to die or something. So, but uh, it's still a good, uh, still a good race. Um, I'm actually excited for next week for Russia. Russia is typically one of my best tracks, so maybe we can do something really strong there. But my who wins? I finished second. Kermit. Rounds out the podium. LCS gets his best career finish of fourth. Gale came back for a fifth place finish. Um, weak, bad day by the Alpines. And then Chaotix fell off hard. I think he had damage too, and there was quite a few DNFs. So. Um, next week's Russia. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, you can watch these Nitro races live on my Twitch channel Saturday nights. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!